Hey everyone, Entast here, and today I want to show you the Plunder Blade. I also want to talk about how to get it. It's a little bit ambiguous right now because honestly it seems like a random trigger, but let's just jump right into it. Plunder Blade is a tool that your Palico can use to knock off rare pieces from the monsters you're fighting. A tooth, a claw, a ridge, a carapace, carapace, whatever you want to call it, it will knock off these rare parts for you to pick up constantly during a fight. Honestly, you might get 5, 10, even 15 pieces over the course of an entire fight. I know, that sounds stupid, that doesn't sound true, but it is. This is such an effective weapon for farming that you can almost half or even third the amount of overall farming you need to do to get a weapon or a set piece. So let's get into it. Look at all these drops. This is from my Palico. Drop. Fang. Take that, another fang, get over there, get a little scale, get a little tail, get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of sexy! So, if you didn't know this already, if you want to get any new Palico gear, any of the new tools for your Palico, you need to talk to the Linian Researcher on all the maps. He essentially starts the quest line to find the cats that will eventually give you the Palico gear. So, in the Odagaron or Odagoron room, he will spawn in there randomly. I don't know what the trigger is, but once you talk to him, it will start the quest line. Now, as for finding the actual cat to complete the quest line, a couple of things can change this. So if there's a dead Legia Legiana, I think that's, that, see that dragon that's to the left of me? If there's a dead one of those in the room and you kill the Odegoron here, or it's just, the corpse is just sitting there, there's a chance for the cat to spawn. There's also a chance that if the Odegaron or Odegoron, whatever the hell you call this stupid bloody dog, if he carries a piece of meat back to this area and drops it and you kill him, or he just drops it and he leaves the area, there's another chance that the cat can spawn. It's a little bit random, but essentially, if you keep killing this boss, eventually that cat will spawn and continue the quest line. Once he spawns, much like all of the other Palico quests, you just need to go and chase him down, and your scout flies will lead you right there. It's not a big deal, very easy. Um, but one thing you need to know is you need a piece of raw meat that's very accessible, extremely easy. If you don't have one on you, you can just go to the camp, go into your little tent, and you can actually go through your items and find some raw meat. Or you can try to kill something and get raw meat, but you don't have to leave the quest, you don't have to leave. Just go back to camp, go into your tent, and get a raw piece of meat. Now, once you chase him down, he's going to hide up in the rocks. To lure him down, all you need to do is put down a couple pieces of raw meat. Honestly, you just need one, but I put down a couple just because I didn't know exactly where to place it. And he's going to come down, eat it with his friends, and boom, you've got the plunder blade. Now, this is absolutely one of the best tools overall because of how much it speeds up your farming. If you're slaughtering monsters, if you want to speed up your farming, get all of the gear as fast as you can. This is the tool. However, if you're struggling with a boss, if you're struggling with an enemy that you haven't beat before, this might not be your best option, because there are extremely powerful tools, like the flash, uh, flash fly bug lantern, I believe is the one, that you can stun your enemies, you can trap your enemies, it's overall an amazing tool. This one essentially is just for getting resources, so if you can't beat the bosses, then you shouldn't be using this tool, if that makes any sense. You're not going to uh, you're not gonna get those end of match rewards if you can't beat it in the first place. If you keep dying, you ain't farming. You know what I mean? So while this Plunder Blade is absolutely amazing, gives you extra drops during the fight, gives you extra drops after the fight, I would just be cautious on when you choose to start using it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.